morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hello to all of you, especially in Seven Galabanga, Seven Libmanen, Seven Magaraw, Seven Milaor, and especially Seven Galabanga. Good morning to all of you. Today is September 23, 2021, and I am your MAPE teacher, Mrs. Mary Rose Rizalin J. Capisonda, and you can call me Mom Rizalin. Um, let us have our prayer for today. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For, all, for your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, good morning again. Our topic is all about holistic health and stages of growth and development. Today, we are back to school, September 23, 2021, with our first online class. Good morning to all of you guys. Okay, um, for our lesson for week one, we have dimension of holistic health. Who among them is he healthy? Who do you think are the healthiest? Ito ba yung isa yung grabe yung muscle? Or yung isa na grabe yung exercise? What do you think guys? Sa tingin nyo, sino kaya sa kanila ang healthy? Or ano ba ang basahan natin para masabi natin na healthy sila? So our objective first is explain the dimension of holistic health, physical, mental, intellectual, emotional, social, and moral spiritual. And number two, analyze the interplay among the health dimension in developing holistic health. So when we say health, health is the most important factor in our life. Because it is a state of complete physical, mental, intellectual, emotional, social, moral, spiritual, and environmental well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. So when we say health or we are healthy, kailangan complete daw yung ating physical, mental, intellectual, emotional, social, moral, spiritual, and environmental well-being. At dapat ay wala tayo ng mga disease. Okay, when we say holistic, it is concerned with whole rather than analyze or separation into parts. So, kailangan is whole talaga siya. Holistic health is an approach to life to help considers the whole person and how he or she interacts with his or her environment. It is about caring the whole person, providing for your physical, mental, spiritual, and social needs. And also, it emphasizes the connection of mind, body, and spirit. So when we say being healthy means having a balance of all the dimension of health, physical, mental, emotional, social, and moral, spiritual. So we need to have the balance of all dimension of health para masabi natin now we are healthy. When we say good health and wellness, are interdependent of five dimensions. Ano ba yung five dimensions na yun? First, we have social, spiritual, emotional, intellectual, and physical. So, in first activity one, list down at least five practices and habits that shows healthy living. Example, what are the examples? 
eat vegetables on a regular basis. So that is one. So can can you please um, list down at least five practices and habits that you show healthy living? Okay. Take time to read. The sixth dimension of holistic health, we have physical health. When we say physical health, it refers to the well-being of an individual. Example, Dora is performing simple physical exercises every day to keep herself healthy. It means that you can do your daily task without getting tired and undue fatigue. <clears throat> Example, Jane still has an ed the energy to play bond with her friends after washing her clothes the whole morning. So that is physical health. So physical health, at least we you have regular physical activity, good nutrition, and adequate ang um, inyong rest. Physical health means how well your body functions. It is also means you have enough energy to enjoy activities and to meet emergencies. It means developing healthful habits and avoiding destructive habits such as smoking, drinking alcoholic beverages, and taking dangerous drugs and harmful substances. Yan, yan yung mga sample natin ng physical health. You do exercise, you do yoga, sometimes you do Zumba. Yan, itong isa is, she is running. This one, we have locomotor and non-locomotor. Yung, yung isa nagpa-biking, yung isa nagpa-treadmill, yung isa nagpa-barbell. This is how we taking care of our physical health. First, we need to keeping your body fit by exercising and participating in active games. Number two, eat a well-balanced diet, getting adequate sleep and rest. So you need to sleep at least eight hours in a day. And drinking enough of water, at least drink eight, six to eight glasses of water. And also, practicing cleanliness and good grooming habits. Getting regular medical and dental checkup and treatment. And avoiding harmful substances such as tobacco, alcohol, and drug of abuse. Okay, let's move on about mental health. When we say mental health, it refers to the ability of an individual to think and improve his quality skills in life. Example, go out and make new friends. Keep yourself busy with school activities. It is the ability to ra rationalize things. Examples of uh, mental health is finding good reason in your failures. Think that everything happened for a reason. Yan. Mental health or intellectual health means being a lifelong learner by continuously wanting to learn new things and improve one's skills. A mentally healthy person is open to new ideas and experiences that can improve personal, family, and community life. When we say mental health, you do uh, logical thinking, critical thinking, something, uh, your games is like chess, this one about puzzle, and then emotional health. When we say emotional health, it is the ability to accept failures, cope with your environment, and consider the feelings of others. Example of emotional health is if a family member has left to work in other place, you can easily accept the reality of being away from your loved ones, understanding and liking oneself. Example, self-love means finding peace 
and resting comfortably in our own home. So in our emotional health, we, sometimes you are happy, surprised, angry, embarrassed, sad, and sometimes we are disgusted. Emotional health, it refers to how well you meet the demands of daily life and how you adjust to new situation. It also means expressing your happiness, love, joy, and hope as well as your sadness, anger, stress, fear, and helpful productive ways. And also, face life problems squarely. Emotional health also handles stress and seek help if needed. Express your emotion in a positive ways and deal with life pressure and stresses in a positive ways. And build strong communication network among family, friends, and peers. Yeah, and sometimes we are sad, we are happy. You're like Daniel Padilla and sometimes look alike Daniel Padilla. Okay, we are done with emotional health, physical health. Let us move on with social health. When we say social health, it is how well you build relationship with your community and how you interact with the people that surround you. Example, as a teenager, you easily mingle and develop friendship with the neighborhood. Social acceptance means to interact with different types of people, accept and understand different norms and values. Example, be who you are and be like what is dictated by your values and norms. It is the fact that most people act in order to be accepted by any group and be like them. Yan. Yan yung example ng social health. Yan. To mingle with each other. Social health refers to how well you get along with other people. This can be observed when you are teenager sharing ideas and their talents with peers. Make and keep friends. Play, work well with the group. Give and get help from others when needed and communicate well and show respect and care for yourself and others. Yan. You build relationship with your peers. You have friends. Okay, let's move on with the moral spiritual health. When we say moral spiritual health, it refers to one's faith belief and values no meanings and purpose in life what you feel think and say what you believe in or value are shown in how you act example respect everybody's faith it is looking deeply within oneself and beliefs okay when we say holistic health we have physical mental social emotional and spiritual yeah and that is the five dimension of holistic health okay overall good health and wellness are interdependent of six dimensions health dimensions are like separate pieces that need to be fitted together to make meaning. A healthy child is active at home and school. He, she is active to do the household routine like cleaning the house and backyard. He, she has time to join with his, her parents in prayers, attending masses and worship activities. And also, he, she enjoys being with his friends classmates and other children in the school. He she also practicing and active attending the environmental activities in their place like tree planting and waste segregation. 
Being healthy is more than not being sick. Your health is made up of physical, mental, social, spiritual, moral, and environmental resources that allow you to live a satisfying and productive life. Optional health indicates a high level of functioning and is often characterized by vitality, vitality a zest of life, and sense of harmony with nature and humanity. Or the so our sources for that is Grade Seven Health Learning Modules, 2011. Directions: What health dimensions will be enhanced? If you do the activities below. 1. Read books. What do you think? Tell the truth. Surf the internet. Play different sports. Go dancing with friends. Attend social gatherings. Respect the right of others. Show your feeling in a positive way. Say sorry when you have done wrong. And last, consulting parents about your problem. So what do you think or the health dimension will be enhanced if you do the activities below? So write it on the paper. Okay, we are done with the um, dimensions of or holistic dimensions of our health now we move on to stages of growth and development so our objectives for growth and development is first describe developmental milestone as one grow number two Recognize that changes in different health dimensions are normal during adolescence. And number three, explain that the pattern of change during adolescence is similar but the pace of growth and development is. Yeah, new growth and development. First, we're newborn, we're toddlers, we're adults, teenagers, yan. Yan yung mga growth and development. So, what is growth? Growth is a physical change and increase in size and it can be measured. Yun yung sinasabi natin sa growth. Kailangan daw nag increase yung mga sizes and it can be measured. What are the stages of growth? So first, we have infancy. When we say infancy, it's from birth to 18 months. So, simula nung pinanganak ka hanggang sa 18 months ka. That is called infancy. When we say early childhood, it starts from 18 months to 3 years old. So, Alam mo, pinanganak ka after 18 months to 3 years old. Ang tawag na sa iyo ay, sa, sa bata ay early childhood. And pag childhood naman, nagsisimula sila from 3 years old to 6 years old. Adolescence, the period of gradual change from childhood to adulthood. The time of life between childhood and adulthood. Adulthood naman pag sinabing period from the 20s onward. Ayan. What are the changes in adolescence? I know some of you experiencing this. And what are the changes being experienced by a high school student like you? What do you think? Are the changes that you are being experienced now that you are high school student? Okay. When we say physical change, there is a rapid increase in height and weight. Boys experience this usually two years later than girls. 
So the head, hands, feet grow faster first, then the arms and legs, and then the chest and shoulders. This is why the body of an adolescent seems changes in circulatory and respiratory system. The heart and lungs grow bigger and work better. So the adolescents become stronger and can work longer. Although the increase is more in boys than in girls. So mas pag mga sa respiratory system or ano, mas ma, ma, mabilis daw or mas malakas daw yung mga pagbabago sa boys than sa girls. Body composition naman, muscle develop rapidly although boys muscles grow faster than girls. So, totoo ba itong mga boys na talagang yung mga muscle nyo ay talagang uh, nag-grow faster than girls? Body fat increases although the increase in girls' body fat is more than the boys. So, girls talaga, di ba, na napapansin natin? yung ating body fat ay talagang mabilis din. Other changes, there is a sudden increase in hormone production. Bones become harder and sweat and oil glands become more active. Yan, mas nagiging active daw. Primary sex characteristics are changes directly related to sexual production or reproduction. Changes to sexual organs themselves like uterus, vagina, penis, and testes. The boys experience their first release of seminal fluid or ejaculation from the penis. The girls experience menarche or the first release of blood and fluids from the vagina Later, cold menstruation. So, girls, ang tawag doon sa unang release ng blood or sa menstrual cycle nyo, it is called menor. Okay? When we say secondary sex characteristics are changes not directly related to sexual reproduction. It refers to other visible changes that mark adult Maturation such as changes in height and body shape. The boys becomes or the boys becomes deeper sa boys. The Adam's apple become bigger. The shoulder become wider than hips. Hair grows on the face, body and pubic area, and the skin on the upper arms and ties become rough. O, yan yung mga na-experience ng ating mga boys. And girls naman, breast develop. The hips become wider than the shoulder and the hair grows on the underarm and the pubic area. So, kung may mga nakikita kayong tumutubong mga hair dyan, don't you worry because that is normal kasi talagang nagde-develop na yung ating mga katawan. Okay, when we say mental or intellectual changes, make better decisions, tendency to become bored with routine activities, think less of themselves, coordination with their thoughts and their action, and can focus attention on what they want to listen to, and also, nagi improve na in memory and speed in thinking. Yun yung mga mental changes ng pagbabago sa atin. Sa emotional changes naman, more responsive to rewards and stress. More emotional that make them open to being hurt or in danger. So boys are sexually active. And boys become more aggressive due to sudden increase in manufacture of hormones. Dahil sa mga hormones nyo, mas nagiging aggressive ang mga boys. When we say in a so social changes, 
we consider approval of friends and other adolescents or peer as very important. So we are sometimes seeking approval from our friends, like adolescents' friends, enjoying being with friends. Mas pinipili na natin na mas kasama yung mga friends natin kesa sa mga parents natin. Choose friends who share the same interest with them. And sometimes, get involved with bad company. Engage in fights, vandalism, smoking, drinking, or even drug sessions. So, yun yung iiwasan natin yung ma-involve tayo sa mga bad uh, company. Kasi sometimes, dahil sa we're seeking approval of others, and sometimes gusto lang natin maging belong, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga bad habits like smoking, drinking, or drug sessions. So we need to avoid that mga boys, okay? Or sometimes girls. Moral spiritual changes. When we say moral spiritual changes, it explore and ask broad and answerable questions about the meaning of life. We depend on the influences of home and religious institutions for moral and ethical choices and behaviors. We're trying to find out who they really are and analyze their strengths and weaknesses, resulting to understand themselves better and learn to accept like themselves, including their weaknesses. Learn that house rules imposed by their parents are there, are there to promote order and harmony at home. Okay, questions. What are the factors affecting growth and development? First, we have heredity. Heredity is the passing of traits of parents to their offspring. O pag sinabing offspring, kayo yung mga anak. From the parents to anak. Oh, chromosomes tread like structures found within the nucleus of a cells. When we say genes, it is a basic unit of heredity that carry the codes for inherited traits. Number two, environment. The sum total of persons surrounding physical, environment, biological, environment, socioeconomic environment. Ayan. Yan yung mga nakaka- um, yan yung sum of total person of surroundings, environment, physical, biological, and socioeconomic environment. When we say endocrine system naman, collection of glands that control the growth, metabolism, social development, and function of the body. Okay, these are the parts of our body. We have hypothalamus, pineal gland, or pineal gland, pituitary gland, parathyroid gland, ito yung located siya dito, thyroid gland naman, nandiyan siya, thymus, and ito yung liver natin, adrenal gland, kidney, yan, we have two kidney, kidneys, pancreas, yan yung pancreas natin, uh, in female, you have ovaries, in pregnant females, like placenta. and male, we have testes. Yan, nandiyan yung testes nyo. And, yan. Pituitary gland, it is often called as master gland. It produces growth of hormones which are responsible for growth and development of an individual. This one is the pituitary gland. So, yan. So, we have dwarfism. Pag sinabing dwarfism, it is the abnormalities that occurs when pituitary gland release too little growth of hormones. So, pag maliit or may merong abnormalities in our pituitary gland, you can experience yung may makikita kang mga dwarf kism. Like, example, si Mahal and Mura, they are dwarf. 
because they have abnormalities that occurs in their pituitary gland. So, dahil sa maliit yung uh, nilalabas nilang hormones, kaya nagiging dwarf yung uh, tao. And also, we have giantism or abnormalities that occurs when pituitary gland releases too much growth of hormones. So, pag sobra naman, di ba yung dwarfism is kulang, maliit, Pag, pag marami naman tayong nare-release na hormones or maraming nare-release na hormones si pituitary gland, ang nangyayari sa kanya ay nagkakaroon ng giantism. So, kaya kung may makikita kayo mga parang mga giant, yung mga ma masyadong matataas. Ayan. So, this one is we have health appraisal and screening procedures. This one is the last. First, explain the proper health appraisal procedure. Number two, demonstrate health appraisal procedures during adolescence in order to achieve holistic health and avails of, holist of health services in the school community in order to appraise one's health. When we say health appraisal, it is the series of procedure to assess or determine the health status of the students. Ayan. We have health screening test as you can see in your uh, learning packets or learning activity sheet. You have seen there na merong screening test. First, we have medical exam. Keep you informed about your general health status. Yun yung tinutukoy sa medical exams natin. Keeps you informed of any dental problems. Yan. High taking. Gives you an idea about your growth rate. Nire-record nyo ba yung growth and development nyo? Like sa, sa inyong height? Yan. And weight taking. Keep you aware if you are within your ideal weight. So, we have... Yung parang kinikilo kayo, tinitingnan kung yung BMI nyo ay correct pa ba, kung obese ba kayo, kung underweight or something. Yan. And we have vision test. Keeps you informed of your visual activity kung 2020 pa ba yung visions nyo. Kung nakakakita ba kayo ng malapitan or nakakakita kayo ng mas nakakakita kayo pag nasa malayo. Ganun. And also we have Hearing test. It is to check the ability to hear the loudness and pitch of the sound. Ayan. Minsan kasi baka hindi nyo lang naririnig yung lalo na yung mga utos ng mga parents natin. Ayan. Pero normal naman pala yung hearing test nyo. Kaya lang talagang minsan ini-ignore lang natin, di ba? And we have also breast self-examinations. Or check unusual lamps this one as you can see meron din sa inyong learning packets how to examine your breast first what can you do lay down on your back and place your right arm behind your head use the finger pads of the middle finger of your left and hand to feel for lamps and right breast, use overlapping dime size circular motion on your fingers. Yan. Bawa, ganyan. Pwedeng ganyan. Tapos, eh, pag nakahiga, gaganyan ninyo. Chichak nyo. Diba? Titignan nyo kung may lamps or bakit kailangan machak kasi baka may mga tumutubo like sa, sa breast natin. And next, move around the breast in and up and down. Pattern starting at the imaginary line drawing straight down to your side from the underarm and moving across the breast to the middle of the chest bone, sternum or breast bone. Yan yung sternum natin, yun yung nandito sa middle ha. Okay. Repeat number three. Repeat examination on your left breast. Putting your left arm behind your head and using the finger pads on your hands to do the same. And number four, while standing in front of a mirror with your hands, pressing firmly down on your hips, 
look at your breast for any changes in sizes shape, contour, or dimpling, or redness of the nipple or the breast skin. This is how we test the man's on sa oscoliosis test. Ang oscoliosis, yun yung nasa likod natin or our spinal cord. First, we need to keep you informed of any abnormal curvature on your spine. So, titingnan nyo kung meron bang abnormality sa Sa, sa spine nyo, kung ito ba ay nagparang nag -ES, ganyan o. Oh. As you can see in the picture, this one is the normal and this one is the abnormal. Abnormal kasi mas mataas yung nasa dito sa left niya kesa doon sa right niya. Or sometimes, minsan, makakakita ka yung parang S, S curve yung nangyayari sa uh, spinal natin. And the following signs should be referred to a doctor for treatment. Yan. As you can see, one of the shoulder blade is more prominent. The head is not aligned to the center of the pelvis. And a hip appear higher or it is more prominent than other. The rib cage is uneven and waist is uneven. The entire body is leaning to one side. O, ito. As you can see, ito yung may scoliosis kasi, di ba? Instead na straight lang, ang nangyayari ay nagkakaroon siya ng S-curve or parang nagiging S yung ating spinal cord. Yan. That is the graphic organizer below show the importance of health appraisal screening test to attaining the holistic health. First, we have holistic health can be achieved by practicing good health habits and submitting to screening test. Screening test, ano yung mga screening test natin? We have medical examination, dental examination, high taking, weight taking, vision test, scoliosis test, breast self-examination, and hearing test. When we say me medical examination, you need to keep you informed about your general status. Pag sinabi naman natin na dental examination, it keeps you informed about any dental problems. When we say high taking naman, it gives you an idea about your growth rate. And weight taking naman, keep you aware if you are within your ideal weight. And vision test, keep you informed of your visual acuity. And scoliosis naman, para malaman nyo if you are, if you have any abnormal curvature on your spine. And breast self-examination keeps you check unusual lumps. And hearing test kept, keeps you check the ability to hear the loudness and pitch of the sound. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much. My name is Miss Mary Rose Rieslinche, Kapisonda, your Mappy Seven, and you can call me Mamri Celine. Thank you so much. Bye to all of you guys.